Okay, so let's talk about variable importance. And I'm going to talk about a general notion of variable importance that you can use for any algorithm. And then I'll talk about the special one for a random forest. Okay, so let's talk about the general one, which is also called model reliance. And the question uh, that model reliance answers is how much does a model F rely on a variable? So there's our data set at the bottom. The rows are observations and the columns are the different features. And we want to know how much a model relies on one of the variables. So what we're going to do is take the model that we have and compute that error. And then what we're going to do is take the data set and mess it up. We're going to mess it up by scrambling one of the, the scrambling the variable we're interested in. We're just going to mess it up. We're going to like reorder the, the, the values of that um, column. So just, just messing it up. Okay, you could set them to zero if you wanted, but but I like to I like to just scramble them because it preserves the um, it it preserve it doesn't preserve, it messes up the joint distribution, but at least preserves the marginal. Okay, so anyway, we do that we mess up that variable and then we recompute the error and then we see how much it changed because you see if the error doesn't change when you mess up a variable that means the variable wasn't important, but if the error changes a lot when you mess up the variable well then then the variable is important. Okay, so the model reliance for model F and variable J uh, is computed as the error when you scramble the data, when you, when you mess up that variable, minus the error when you kept the data exactly as it was. Okay, and the, again, the larger the model reliance is, the more the uh, model depends on that variable. Okay, now random forest actually has its own notion of model reliance. So as you, as you noticed in the previous slide, I computed, I computed everything in sample, right? I used the same data set to compute everything. Whereas for random forest or decision forest, whatever you want to call it, um, it, everything is done sort of out of sample in a weird way. So we're going to measure the importance of variable J. And the way we'll do it is that we start with the data that wasn't used to construct t, tree T. Because remember, tree T at iteration T was constructed from a bootstrap sample. So there were data that were not that, that are in the training set that are not in that bootstrap sample. So you call that data out of bag. So out of bag for iteration T. Okay, so then you compute the error of the model of that tree, the tree that you generated on at iteration T. You compute that on the out of bag data. And then you mess up that jth feature by scrambling it. Okay, so you, so you, here I'll scramble the data. There you go. Okay, so I scrambled it, messed it all up. And then um, we're going to call this out of bag permuted. Okay, so that's the, the out of bag data that's been permuted. And all of this is done on that, again, that data that wasn't used to construct the tree at iteration t. And then you, you reevaluate the error on this permuted um, this permuted out of bag data set. Okay. And so again, you compare the difference between the errors with and without that feature being messed up. And that's called the raw importance of variable, um, of variable J for iteration T. And then for the overall variable importance, um, you average, you average them all together over all of the iterations over all the, um, all, over all the trees that you get on each iteration. Okay, so just to summarize, um, model reliance is a general notion of variable importance for a model. You can use it for any model you like, whether it's a support vector machine, a random forest, a um, boosted decision trees, what, you know, any kind of model that you have, you can use model reliance as a notion of variable importance. You just take the variable, you scramble it, and compute the error with and without. Okay. And then there's this nice specialized notion of variable importance for decision for us where it's computed on out of bag samples so that you get, um, you get this sort of nice out of, um, out of sample measure of the, uh, of the error. And um, both of them are good. Uh, they're, they're, they're both fine. You can use whichever one you like and report variable importance. Thanks.